welcome to a brand new episode of WSI TV. Enjoy the show. Welcome back to WSI TV. Today is a very important and special episode because we are airing this on New Year. So we do want to wish you a happy New Year from everyone here. Mm -hmm. um, we hope that it's a healthy year for you and that we can do everything in our power to make it prosperous and mm -hmm. wealthy and all those good things. Yeah, so, so happy New Year. Yes. It's very exciting. It's also the new decade. So <laughs> big yes. one for us this very year. Very big. Yes. So we've got a lot of things on the docket for you today. Um, we're going to just get straight into it. Um, we want to teach you how to take charge of your investing future. Um, as we're at the cusp of the new year and like mm -hmm. they said, the new decade, um, you're probably looking back at things that you've done in the past, maybe things that you wanted to do and never got the opportunity to. So we're gonna try and really show you how you can take charge of the things that you can really start to make money on your own, on your own time, in your own way mm -hmm. in 2020. So Yeah, absolutely. Um, so as always, we wanna remind you guys to go on to WSITV.com to sign up for the free daily newsletters um, and get instant access to all of our free content. Um, and then from there, we're gonna talk about our topic for yes, today. Let's just get straight into it. So we're gonna talk about how you can invest in the new year. Of course, if you've been following the channel, um, you saw 2019 was a bit of a rough spot here and there, it depends. Um, but we are gonna talk a little bit about fiscal policy um, how it can either help or hinder your gains in yeah. the new year. Um, yeah, so 2019 was a rough year for monetary policy. Mm -hmm. um, there were quite a few rate cuts. Were we at four this year? Is that the number? So. I have to check. That's a lot. So, it was quite um, a few, yes. yeah, weakening global currencies, trade tensions were wearing out investors. There were all of these mm -hmm. factors that were just hitting us again and again and again. Exactly. Um, and the market was a little bit more volatile in the last couple of years mm -hmm. than we'd like to see. Uh, but despite all of this, we're still in a new bull market, exactly. which is really encouraging. Um, and 2020 could be a repeat, but we're more inclined to believe that things might start to settle. Yes. Um, there's definitely going to be a correction in the market sometime in the future, because um, mm -hmm. that's just the way that the market works. Yes. Uh, but we're going to be there to show you when that's coming. It, yes. um, <laughs> and that doesn't mean that the market's going to fall apart. It just okay. means that it's going to have a healthy correction. Um, but we are in this bull market, and 2020 could be a time for everything evening out and leveling out. We are at a new um, negotiation stage with trade for yes. chi with China. Mm -hmm. So we talked about that a little bit on Monday. Yes. Um, things are looking up. So. So we do have a good outlook for the general market, um, but now we want to talk a little bit about how you invest personally. Um, so there's a huge lie perpetrated by Wall Street that huge traders, hedge fund managers, people that are, have this fancy degree on their wall, essentially that you need their help to succeed in the stock market, which may or may not be true depending on who you're going to, but generally it's really not. Um, yeah. There are things that you can do on your own that you can succeed in. Um, you don't need a finance degree to do well in the stock market. No. You just need the right tools. So we're going to try and show you those tools and try and give you the first step that you need to be able to invest on your own that you can mm -hmm. take kind of your future into your own hands. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so a really big thing that Jim likes to say is that I think the number is 70% of Wall yes, Street pros can't is. beat the stock market average, which exactly. is 6% a year. Mm -hmm. um, we can give you a lot more than that. Um, exactly. And that's without a finance degree on your end. So. We're going to try and show you how you can ensure success no matter what, whether the market's going down, mm -hmm. going up. We talk about how we are in a bull market right now, but that doesn't mean that you're only going to make gains when we're in a bull market. And next week, if the market takes a downturn, you're like, oh, well, now I have no opportunities. Yeah. Um, we're going to try and show you that there are ways that you can make money no matter what's going on. Um, but the most important thing that you need to learn is, honestly, you need to know when you're getting played. Um, things are all over the internet all the time. There are yeah. books, there are movies, there are shows that have different opinions and different ways that you're supposed to do something, especially when it yeah. comes to investing. Um, and most of them are probably not having your best interests in mind. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of information out there. Technology is great because it means that everything's very, very available, mm -hmm. but it also means that there's a lot of false information being circulated and it makes it a lot easier for people to take advantage of you. Um, but we're here to show you how to avoid that. Exactly. So. Yeah. So our first thing that we're going to show you is how do you know what's real? Um, we're talking about how there are things that are false reports out there, the headlines that are just trying to scare you. Mm -hmm. How do you sift through the stuff that's legit, the things that you need to focus on? 
Um, so honestly, we're probably your first line of defense. Yeah. We do this for you every day. That's what we do when we walk in every morning. So um, if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, we do encourage you to do so. We do videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, mm -hmm. every week, even on holidays, as you can see. Yeah. Um, and we do the first line of defense and we look through the headlines that are coming into the inbox and the things that you're seeing on online and in the newspapers and we're going, okay, is this real or is this not yeah, real? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and that's, like Taylor said, that's our job. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, every morning we come in and we get all of these subscriptions. We go on to all of the financial sites, all mm -hmm. of the newspaper sites, and we read through all those headlines. That's what I spend my morning doing. Exactly. Um, every day. <laughs> and then we follow those headlines to yes. see if there's any real evidence behind them. We double check the numbers. We fact check everything. Mm -hmm. And we find the truth. So. So there is that little red subscribe button for you on our YouTube channel, and we will show you later on. But there is something you can click to get notifications when we do publish new videos. Mm -hmm. um, there is a setting in YouTube that you may not see if you do publish something new. So we'll go ahead and show you how to do that. But um, the next step after that, if you have not subscribed, go ahead. Once you have, you'll notice that we read charts quite a lot here. Yes. <laughs> um, so even if you're new, you'll notice that we put a chart up probably every episode. Pretty much, yeah. Um, and they're really important. Um, that's probably one of the things that you and I look for if a headline yeah. is real or not. I go look at a chart and see yeah, if Yeah, no, that's if the first true. thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you see a headline that says this kind of dip or this mm -hmm. is the best stock to buy, the first thing we do is check the chart. Exactly, so. yes. So we're gonna do a little bit of practice here and show you some good examples of what kind of chart you do wanna see. Absolutely. Um, so things to keep in mind, um, obviously chart reading is not something you can learn in 10 minutes, but it is very simple once you do understand the basics. Um, we do have two requirements for you today that you should keep in mind. The first one, the stock price, which is that line you're gonna see on the chart in just a moment. It should always be going up. Um, that seems pretty simple, but you'd be surprised. Some mm -hmm. of the outlets I've seen that have recommended stocks, it's got its nose pointed to the yeah. ground, and you're going, why is this a recommendation? <laughs> yeah, so exactly. the number one rule is the stock should always be pointed upwards. Um, and the next one is the price should respect the red line, which I won't get too technical on you, but the red line is a 40-week moving average. It's essentially something that you can tell whether a stock is moving up, moving down, going sideways in a more holistic point of view. Yeah. Um, so when we say respect, it means it shouldn't cross the red line a whole bunch of times. We're using that red line as kind of a gauge as what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. So I think we have a chart for you guys to yes. kind of give you an example. Yeah, yeah. so you can see that red line. Um, so this is our 40 week moving average. Mm -hmm. um, and you can see that this um, stock does dip below it a little bit, but only at this one little point right here. Um, so on average, it is respecting that line and it's moving in the same way as that line. If it does not respect it, if it goes against it, that's a really bad sign. Agreed, yes. So. And then as you can see, we do have this nice uptick at the end and it is pointed upwards. Mm -hmm. um, so this chart behind us right now is the ticker's AWP. It is Aberdeen Global Premier Properties, which this is a real estate company. Um, but we'll get a little bit into that in just a second. But the next one we have for you is CCMP. It is Cabot Microelectronics Corporation. Um, yeah. And again, like Leah said, we've got this great respect for this red line all the way here for two years about and then there's this general market dip. But then again, we've got this huge respect on the right side. And it's just a great looking chart right now. Um, and it is in a good sector, which again, we'll touch on in just a moment. Yeah, but. absolutely. Um, and then our last one is REXR. And this one is an industrial um, sector. So this is actually industrial realty. So it's um, the land that industrial mm -hmm. um, job work is happening on. Yes. So this one is a really great chart. This, great, um, this yes. one definitely respects that red line. Mm -hmm. It only barely dips below at I think two points in the last mm -hmm. three years. Um, so that's a really, really strong sign. And when yes. it does dip below, it just barely dips below. So mm -hmm. that's another good sign. If you have a little bit of fluctuation, that's okay. If it's a lot, then you're in trouble. Yes, if it's starting to look like waves on the ocean, that's when you should yeah. be concerned. We're looking for that general upwards movement. Yeah, and here we see this really strong, you could just draw a straight line. Exactly. So yes. that's what we want. So now that we've shown you what good charts look like, you're going, where do we find these? Like, how on earth <laughs> am I supposed to find this? Um, so we're going to show you that sector charts are going to be your new best friend. It's kind of a division of the general market that yeah. kind of helps you break down and filter what you're looking at. So of course, there are thousands and thousands yeah. of individual companies on the market, but they can be filtered and kind of categorized based on their sector. Yeah, and absolutely. Those sectors have charts that you can look at. Mm -hmm. So the first one we're looking at, this is the technology sector. Um, and again, that chart is really healthy looking yeah. right now. So that's something that you can look at and you can say, I don't know how the technology sector is doing. Do I want this company that's mm. in the technology sector? If you're not sure or if you read some headline that's really scary about what's going on, go ahead and look at this chart and you can see obviously nothing's happening to this right now. Um, we yeah. may have a correction in the near future, but again, the general market is probably headed that way anyways. 
um, and it's looking really strong, so I wouldn't be too scared about that. Um, but so yes, in 2020, Lee and I are definitely looking into these sectors that we're going to show you, including technology. Yeah, so technology, as usual, is really strong. Yes. So, yeah. um, And then our other one is industrial stocks, um, which you'll notice that one of the um, singular stocks that we showed you is industrial. Yes. Um, so the industrial chart has a little bit more wobble than mm -hmm. the technology chart does, but it's still a generally really strong chart. Mm -hmm. um, and especially, I'm liking the action in 2019 specifically. Yes. Um, and going into 2020, it looks like we're going to have a strong year. Yes especially with the, some resolution on the side of trade. Um, Absolutely. I think we did have some issues with industrial uh, materials in the past yes. couple of years. So that could be something that is explaining those wobbles that we saw in the past. But again, we're looking at resolution right now. And mm -hmm. especially coming into the new year, we're hoping that those things will wrap up really nicely. Yeah, definitely. And then our last sector for you today is real estate stocks. Um, these ones are usually really strong depending on what you're looking at. But our favorites usually are REITs because they are super strong. But this is the real estate sector fund. And again, this is an awesome chart behind us here. And we do have reason to believe that real estate will do well in 2020. So we're going to yeah. keep a very close eye on these and this stock in particular. Yeah, but. so this is XLRE. Um, and it, it's, again, a really strong chart. Mm -hmm. um, and it has been historically. Real estate is, like Taylor said, looking strong for the new year. Mm -hmm. um, we saw some really encouraging signs at the direction of real estate this fall. Um, we think that's going to continue. So. Yes. So those are ones that we're definitely going to keep our eyes on. We will try to update you guys on those in the future um, on the channel. But um, once you do have a sector like the ones we've just shown you, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be those three. There are yeah. tons of others. I don't even know how many. But um, So if you do find a sector chart that you like, the next step is to look at a specific company's chart um, or even just look at the sector chart. Just take mm -hmm. a look, see what's happening, and pick a stock based on what you know about it, not what the headlines are saying about it. Absolutely. So definitely looking at the charts and those things is important things that you should be focusing on. Yeah, definitely. Um, when you are investing on your own. Um, but I, yeah, I think that's everything we have for you. Yeah, so we're gonna make sure that you're never in the dark. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to get those updates when we upload new articles because everything that we're doing is very timely, very up to date on what's happening right now in the market. Mm -hmm. Um, check back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for new episodes, um, and we'll be sure to bring you more stocks. Yes, and so I think with that, we're here to say Happy New Year. Um, we're very excited to see what comes in 2020. We hope that you are as well, and so we'll hope to see you again very soon. Yeah. And I think we're signing off. Yeah, so Happy New Year. Thanks for watching the latest episode of WSI TV. Be sure to visit WSITV.com where you can subscribe for free with no contract and gain instant access to the secrets of self-made millionaires via the WSITV vault. So go ahead and claim this gift for free now at WSITV.com.